Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3 with a gunplay review of the 1 to 144th scale, high grade transient Gundam Glacier. Team Lapis Lazuli leader Lindsay and Gauzy's custom mobile suit from the Gundam Build Fighters Hono Tri photo novel. Seven plastic frames along with some polycaps and a small sticker sheet make up this HG's modest part count. On the face of it, the variety of colors seem nice. Now, the kit is based upon the original Transient Gundam, and for that reason, you won't find many new parts here outside of the candy-like clear purple plastic. Instead, the Glacier's build is likened to that of a remix. It takes a lot of the original Transient Gundam's parts and repurposes them to breathe new life into this kit. You could describe it as cost-effective ingenuity, which I suppose could also be the entire tagline behind Gundam Build Fighters. The Transient Glacier is bold and impactful. Even here in this basic straight assembled state, it's immediately eye-catching thanks in huge part to those delicious clear purple pieces. The core of the Gundam shouldn't be ignored either. After all, this kit still retains the sharp and streamlined aesthetic of the original Transient. The view from the backside is a little messy, still, it's not too bad. Sticker use is minimal, only appearing on the forehead crest and the stomach. Additionally, I don't even think this kit needs panel lining or painting with its dark theme. As long as you're careful during assembly and minimize the nub marks, the visuals of this kit should be more than satisfying. That said, I do have one gripe with this kit's presentation. The selection of plastic colors. The navy and dark gray are too close in hue to tell a difference, and I'm not a fan of the pale lavender either, especially when light hits it. Normally I'm all for diverse palettes, yet here a simple black and bright violet combo would have done nicely. For accessories, the Transient Glacier includes a pair of GN Partisan 2s as well as hands to hold them. They look great though, I will admit that their length in addition to all the sharp pointed armor on the Gundam limits the amount of posing options. They just collide with everything. Thankfully, they each can split into two smaller parts which makes things more manageable. Also, you can pin the staff section onto the Gundam's forearm for storage. The kit's other inclusion is a basic display stand in a smoke gray color. For articulation, there's a double ball socket neck, mid torso joint, and a waist swivel. Arms are on swing out polycaps, independent shoulder pads, universal jointed shoulders, a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and ball socket wrists. The side skirts have some movement. There's universal joints at the hips. There's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball socket ankles with hinged heels and toes. However, forward movement is severely limited. The backpack has a multitude of moving parts, yet no locking points or defined placement, so you're free to display it to your preference. There's a good deal of articulation through the glacier, yet the obtrusive design of the armor impedes any chance for great posing options. Build Fighters was born out of the idea of repurposing older model kits for a newer generation of fans. We've now, however, gone to the point where Build Fighters is starting to repurpose its own original kits. The Transient Gundam Glacier is the first of these, and that makes it interesting. But does that mean it's good? Well, let me put it this way. Fictionally speaking, the Transient Glacier was built as a souped-up homage to the original Transient Gundam because the builder wanted to prove her worth. Straightforward reasoning, but I ask this. How often does a fan interpretation supersede the original creator's work? Almost never. And that's the case here, too. Sure, the presentation is striking, then again, visuals are purely subjective. As for the features, well, accessories are basic, and honestly, this is one of the most cumbersome kits I've had to handle in a while. On the whole, it's still a very good high grade, but with the high bar set by the original Transient Gundam, I suppose the Glacier never stood a chance at surpassing it. Anyways, that's all from me, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next review.